I've heard enough. Here. What's this? It's your birth certificate. I'm your mother. You are both my sons. Richard? Oh, there you are. For a minute, I thought I was alone. Funny, I know the feeling. Mother. Sit down. Thank you. Richard, I know I've hurt you. But I never intended to give you up. Certain circumstances were beyond my control. Your father was married to Angela, and I was married to Jason Gioberti. Why did you get involved in the first place? Well, Jason and Angela were spending a lot of time in Washington, lobbying for agricultural subsidies. So you and uh, my father fell into each other's lonely arms? No. No, we fought the attraction. But both our marriages were in trouble. Why did you put me in an orphanage? Well, it was only supposed to be temporary. I had to come back here to try and save my marriage, but it was too late. Angela had already turned Jason against you? Yes. I filed for divorce, took Chase, and went back to Europe for good. I wanted both of my sons with me. Well, by then, Henry Denault had already swooped in and adopted me. When did Douglas Channing find out I was his son? Well, it was long after the adoption. Oh, Richard, I never wanted to choose between my sons. But you did. You made your choice, and it was not me. I suppose I've rehearsed reunion scenes thousands of times in my mind. As a kid, I always dreamed of greeting her with open arms. But as I got older, my resentment grew to the point where the only excuse I'd accept was death. I wanted my search to lead to my mother's grave. Richard, you can hate me, but you must keep this a secret. Are you asking a favor of me? Douglas Chan was a fair man. In the end, he proved you were not forgotten. What is there to be gained by destroying a dead man's reputation? Don't worry. The fact that you're my mother is not something I'm proud of. Well, why did you agree to see me today? I guess I wanted to make you feel some of the pain that I have felt. I wanted to make you cry. No. No, those tears were shed long ago. You see, when I first came to the Tuscany Valley, one of my uh, main objectives was to find my mother. Well, I am thrilled to be able to tell you that I have found her. As a matter of fact, she's here tonight. To my mother, Jacqueline Perot. Oh, you bitch! Well, this is very impressive. The uh, security, the anonymity, the goons outside, the ability to kidnap somebody and bring them to your doorstep for uh, some sort of holy dispensation. It's very, very impressive. But impressive or not, I can't be bought. I made a deal with the Nolt. My freedom in exchange for the California wine industry, and I am only months away from delivery. And nothing, not even you, mister, can stop me. Now, who the hell do you think you are? You don't own me. What about Henry Dunham? I thought he was the real power. Well, haven't you heard? Women are coming under their own. Yes, but the cartel, it's a complex organization. And it only depends upon one thing. Power. Raw and adulterated power. One only needs the courage to use it. 
But how? Richard, wait a minute. Europe was another world then. Now remember, the war just ended. Also, Denault wanted a baby boy. And I need money. Then you did sell me. We all made compromises. We had to. You abandoned me. My last husband's fortune gave me enough to push Denault aside. And I took over, knowing that I could be closer to you. Oh, I'm touched. How you feel about me doesn't matter. I want you to leave California. Never. I am willing to give you control of the company. Oh, no, I, uh, I like the weather out there. Besides, for the first time in my life, I'm beginning to enjoy my independence, my power. I'm sure you can appreciate that. Well, I'm afraid I really must insist. I could make life very difficult for you. And I will, if I have to. I'm just beginning to understand. Sometimes I'm a little slow. It's Chase, isn't it? Yes. It's him you love, him you want to protect. I tell you what, dear mother, you want to make a deal? I'll make you a deal. You come near me, so much as write me a letter or call me on the phone. If you contact me in any way, I make a solemn vow. Chase will suffer. <laughs> He's too tough for you. Oh, really? What about his children? Are they uh, too tough for me? Or do you think I might not be able to get to them? You wouldn't dare hurt them. They're safe as long as I'm safe. And undisturbed. Now, you hold the power of life and death over me, but I hold that same power over Chase and his family. Of course, I have another choice. Yes. You could have me killed. You don't have the heart for that, do you? 